All right, today I'm going to show how to sync your Google account with EM Client. So what we're looking here is a clean default installation of EM Client. If I go through the various sections, uh, calendar, tasks, contacts, you'll notice there's no data in here yet. I have not synced any kind of accounts to the client yet. So if we go to Menu, Tools, and Accounts, basically EM Client has a number of different client types uh, set up for synchronization here. Other than email, calendaring and contacts are pretty valuable. You'll notice on either one, uh, among others, there's Google and iCloud contacts and calendaring already set up in here for built-in synchronization. So if you have an Android smartphone or an iPhone, you're likely already going to have one of these two types of accounts set up on your phone. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do an email a Gmail account today. Let me go ahead and do some copying and pasting here. All right, I'm gonna say next. I'll go ahead and leave all four of these default options enabled and click finish. And it's gonna pop up a browser page. So the account I'm going to use today is already known to Chrome, so all I've got to do is select it. You might have to enter this manually. And at this point, we're going to give EM Client permissions to the data within our Google account. So I'll say Allow. And so now we're done here, and if I close this out, we're going to see data starting to come into EM Client from that Gmail account. So. In addition to email, uh, if I go into calendar, tasks, contacts, um, there's data populating in all of these now. And basically, I had already gone into the Gmail account and set a few uh, dummy entries up, and I can see that those are properly those are properly syncing here into EM Client. If you go back into Tools and Accounts and take a look at your your Gmail account, you'll notice there's a number of settings here. You can pick and choose whether you want to sync calendar or contacts or email. You don't have to do all or none. You can pick and choose the types that you want to sync. So basically this can be very useful for synchronizing data between your desktop and your phone for things other than email. So I think that's about it. Uh, thanks a lot for watching.